Hey, how's it going everyone? So I'm back with another video and in this one I just wanted to show you the commission that I'll be working on and this is going to be a drawing of a uh, keys hound. I don't know I don't know how you pronounce it. Keys hound or keys hound. But it's K E E S H O N D. And yeah, this one is going to be a bit different because I'll be using color. So the whole dog is going to be in pencil, but the tongue is going to be in color. And that's by re request of the, of the of the buyer. They told me that, uh, that these dogs are known for the bright pink tongues. So they wanted uh, the tongue to be in color. So I'll be doing that. And for this drawing, I'll be using carbon pencil and graphite. So it's a combination of, of both. And I'm just loving carbon, carbon pencil. It's, it gives me so much, uh, it makes the dark so much deeper. And I just love the way it looks. And, and it complements a pencil nicely. And as you can see, there's, there's a grid on here. And the reason I, I like using a grid on, the, on these drawings is because, especially commissions. Commissions, because it gets the outline out of the way, so I don't have to worry about whether the drawing is going to fit on the paper, whether it's out of proportion or anything like that. I could draw it without a grid, but because commissions are uh, timed, I guess there's a deadline, I guess. So I like to finish, get the out, outline out of the way and they just get into the actual uh, drawing and detail work. So yeah, so I just wanted to show you this. And again, a little bit about the grid. So I made the grid one inch. So each square is one inch. It makes it easier because, uh, so this drawing is going to measure 11 by 14. So the width, it's going to be 14 squares across and 11 squares down it makes it much easier to when you're when I'm measuring so I just use a T ruler I mark the uh, one inch like one inch going across and then I just use a T a T ruler to make the to make the lights again like I said I could do it without the grid but it just it just makes it easier this way so I don't I know I don't have much just have the outline but I'll now start adding the start working on the hair and denting the hair and that's gonna take a while that's especially with this type of dog because this dog has a lot of hair and it's not straight hair it's almost uh it's frizzy so there's a lot there's gonna be a lot of hair on this a lot of work so hopefully you guys can all join me on this journey <laughs> for this drawing and I'll, I'll post as much as I as much as I can on the on the on the progress so yeah, so let me know what you guys think and leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time.